out pretty late today i'm also being really quiet because jacob is trying to sleep it's only like 8 almost 8 30 it's 8 22 and as you can tell it's still light outside but he's really tired so he's trying to sleep and um the reason I'm starting out the vlog kind of late is just because I'm really impatient and I can't wait till tomorrow to open this and I just I want to film it um, for the vlog too so that's why. I did film a video earlier this morning showing you guys what I got at my baby shower which should already be up by the time you guys are seeing this so if you haven't already seen that go check that out I'll link it in the cards um, above but Melissa sent me something for baby case in and I also got my breast pump in the mail while I was gone in California so I want to open that up as well so I think I'll go into Kaysen's room and we can open this up okay so I'm gonna be talking a little bit quiet just because Jacob is literally next door so hopefully he can't hear me too much but I'm gonna open up the package from Melissa first so this is from my friend Melissa in Hawaii um, you guys probably remember her from the vlogs. Her and Kiara <laughs> were like my two besties. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I think, did she send me a picture of this? I don't remember if she did. Um, but it's a little, it's so cute. It's for like a photo op, I guess. Um, but it's basically a little shark and then this little beanie. is like, um, it's got a shark fin on it. So that's what it looks like. So that's super cute that like would be really cute for like some newborn photos okay, so now i'm opening the box with my breast pump in it and i got this through my insurance so tricare gives you um, a prescription to get a breast pump for free i just went on the breastfeeding shop and uh, that's where i got mine from you can also take your prescription and go into the store and buy your I think you buy your pump yourself and then you mail in your prescription and like they refund you or something you like mail it into TRICARE and you mail in your receipt and whatever and then they refund you for it but I just found this as like the easiest option for me so basically all I did was I went online you can find like different places like I was gonna do it through Medela just like the website Medela so you could probably go to the pump website that you want and they might have an option for it but i just went to the breastfeeding shop they have all kinds of different pumps and all types of stuff on there and it was super easy all i did was click on the one i wanted and then uploaded a picture of my prescription and filled out some information and sent it in and they're like they approved it and they're like yep it's good to go so we can send you the pump that you want and then they sent it to me so there's also options like i selected that i wanted some milk storage bags and i think nipple shields and the like waist trainer thing but my prescription doesn't i could go to my doctor and be like hey can you write me a prescription for this and they could tell me yes or no or whatever but my prescription was just for a, pres a breast pump and milk storage bags so they'll let you know like i selected it just in case and then they emailed me and they're like we can send you the breast pump and the milk storage bags but like for the other stuff you have to get a separate prescription because the prescription you gave us is just for that so that's totally fine i just got it just in case like or i selected it just in case it was part of my prescription and i didn't know so yeah so i got the medela pump and style advanced starter kit my sister i believe had this for her pr first pregnancy she got this for free through her insurance as well it's not just tricare like a bunch of different um insurances give you free breast pumps so just double check with your provider i guess but this is the one i got because she said that the modello pump is really good so i went ahead and got that i also got some milk storage bags came with 100 so each box is 50 which i feel like will be plenty for me i don't know if i'll use that many so um i got those this is what it looks like i believe i don't know i think this is the same one that my older sister had uh, i could be wrong but um she definitely had the medela i've heard good things about the medela i've actually heard good things about this pump too um from like the pregnancy page here on post so i don't know if this is the same exact model that she had like seven years ago so it comes with these things um this is just like 
the little i don't even know if you guys can see oh there's some out here right now i guess um so it comes with like basically these things that go on your nips and they attach to the pump and then like to this thing as well so there's all of that and then the little like cord or whatever it also comes with these two bottles that you can pump into and i think you i think some of these are compatible with like apps that you can screw on and just like feed the baby straight from this bottle like after you pump or something uh but you can store these in the fridge if you're going to use them like soon you can just like pump into this and then throw a cap on it store it in the fridge and be good or whatever or you can put it into a bag and freeze it but my sister also gave me an attachment which i think she said she had to buy it separately but basically this screws into the pump and you put the bag over it and so you can pump directly into the bag so i have that and then it comes with a couple of disposable nursing pads it looks like and then this i'm assuming this is like a power cord it looks like it this is just the pump so this is what it looks like and then this, oh actually, maybe, I think this might be something that you put like batteries in it and it can be portable. So you can like take this on the go because this looks like another like adapter to plug it into, but it doesn't have like, yeah, see like this plugs into the pump as well. So I'm thinking that this is if you want to take it on the go, you can put some batteries in here and you'll be good to go. But if you're at home, you can just like plug it into the wall and use it like that. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So it is the next day and it's 11.37 right now. I just finished showering and getting dressed because I have a couple of errands I wanna run today. And yeah, but I've been up since like 6.30 this morning. I woke up uh, to Jacob getting up like for work. So I have to go to the post office. That's one of the places I need to run to today. Let's see if this will stay up on my so yeah, I have some forms that I need to go send in, but I need to get like a envelope for them and then send them. So I gotta stop at the post office and then I wanna go to Hobby Lobby because I really wanna try to crochet a baby blanket because if you guys watched my, what I got at my baby shower, then you guys would've saw that I got a baby blanket like a handmade baby blanket from my mother-in-law i just remember my grandmother made me a baby blanket from when i was a baby and she made them for all of my sisters so she made them for all her grandchildren to be honest uh so yeah it's just a really special thing to have i feel like and if i can make one for Kaysen, then i would love to do that and i've actually crocheted before i was just very impatient i was trying to make like a full-size adult blanket and i got really impatient and i don't even remember where i learned how to do it i'm assuming a youtube video so basically i need to go to hobby lobby to get all this stuff for that because i don't have my crochet hook anymore i think i like tossed it or something i don't know i also bought like a really cheap crochet hook or i don't even know if i got like the right size that i was supposed to be using for the project but I am going to go get some yarn for the baby blanket and the crochet hook and then I'm going to sit and watch the tutorial. You want to say hi? Hi pretty girl. Also here's the bump. <laughs> 30 weeks and like two days I think or three days. Something like that. But here's my Sadie girl. Oh, oh is that the good scratch spot? Yes. <laughs> you so funny. You so funny. Oh, sweetie. So cute. All right, so I'm back from the stores. <laughs> I went to the post office, did what I had to do there, and then I went to Hobby Lobby, Walmart, and HEB for groceries. So I'm going to quickly show you guys what I got from the grocery store so I can put everything away, and then I will show you everything i got at the other stores which isn't a lot so i have some stuff over here and then some stuff over there i just quickly threw it on the counter sadie's interested in what we got so i got these little um cupcake liners or muffin liners whatever you want to call them because i want to make some muffins and like 
have them for the morning and stuff. So I got those and then I got some more sponges because we are down to our last one. So I got more. And then I got some freezer gallon bags because we just ran out. I got some spaghetti sauce. I don't make my own spaghetti sauce. So I just buy it. Um, I always try different kinds. I like this one though, so I just went with this one today. I got some chicken breasts. I got some, uh, what's this? Oh, brown sugar for the muffins I'm gonna make. I got some baking powder for the muffins as well. Got some ground cinnamon, some pure vanilla extract. Uh, and then I got these pasta roni things. Jacob loves these like things. Um, and we use them like as a side for dinner. So we got some white cheddar shells, these ones. We got fettuccine alfredo, and then this one, I've never seen this, so I wanted to try it. It's the four cheese corkscrew pasta. Just looks like that, so we'll try that. And then I got this because I saw that Victoria used this on her Rosie Day's logo tee because she had like a grease stain on it, and I have grease stains on a couple of mine, so I wanna try this out. She said it worked for her, so I'm gonna try. And then also Jacob has oil stains from uh, changing his oil from his car and I want to see if this will get it out or not because it says grease and oil so we're gonna we're gonna try it and then I got some thin spaghetti and I got some heavy whipping cream because I needed this for my muffins that I'm gonna make and some butter because I wasn't sure if we had any I got some Chobani yogurt I like the raspberry ones I love like raspberry flavored things so I got raspberry because I've been wanting yogurts in the morning. I got this French vanilla coffee meat creamer for milkshakes, actually. I um, do frozen strawberries and then some of this. It's probably not the healthiest, but I crave it. And um, yeah, it's just like, it makes it like a milkshake. So got that. And then I got some frozen shrimp just for dinners. I got some tilapia and some pork chops. I figured we could like maybe grill those. And then I got some raspberries and some strawberries. These just look really good, so I got those. I got some plain yogurt because my muffin recipe calls for yogurt. It didn't say what kind, it just said yogurt, so I got plain yogurt. Hopefully that's good. And then I got some milk because our milk is about to expire in the fridge. And then over here I have, um, some eggs because we're we only have like four left and then I got some snacks I love these puff corn um, Cheetos I got the spicy ones the flaming hot and then the cheese and then I got some asparagus and some apples for my muffins I'm making an apple crumble muffin or like apple strudel or struce or something I don't know what it's called and then when I was in California uh, my mom had nectarines and they were so good so I got myself a couple because um, I wanted those just to have something sweet and like healthy and then I got these mini cucumbers so I can have like cucumber with lime and tahine I love that and then some of these paletas I just I've been craving like the Mexican paletas so I got some of these uh, there's mango with chamoy lime with chamoy and I think pineapple and chamoy yeah pineapple and chamoy so i really just got it for the, uh, the lime and chamoy that's like my favorite and then i got some klondike sandwiches because they just looked really good and some hot wings because these looked really good too um uh, my mom made me some hot wings while i was back home and they were so good and ever since then i've been craving more hot wings so i got um some hot wings she had different ones though but these were the only ones i could really find that looked good and then i went to hobby lobby and walmart hobby lobby didn't have the yarn i wanted so i got like a different kind which i think i'm going to return so it's in the car actually and then i went to walmart and this was the brand i was looking for and the like type the baby blanket one because like i said i want to try to crochet a blanket and they didn't have like solid colors, they just had like this mixed color, and I was like, it's probably fine, so I'm gonna try it, and we'll see how it goes. I liked the colors on this, it was like blue, green, and white, so we'll see how, how that goes. And then I also got a crochet hook. So it's actually two days later. <laughs> I was gonna end out the vlog that night, and then I just was so busy with like making the blanket. 
that I didn't like end it out because I was just uh, focusing on like trying to finish the blanket which I didn't so this is the one that I finished yesterday I think I finished it I don't really know uh, I haven't decided if I like the length. It is a baby blanket though, so it doesn't have to be super long. I think I do like it. I just think it's kind of awkward because it's more rectangular. <laughs> it's not like squared. Uh, so I'm not sure how I feel about it. I wasn't sure if I wanted to get more yarn because I ran out. So I was like, should I get more or should I just leave it? I'm working on this one. So this one is actually going to be two colors. So... Uh, the other one is like a multi-colored yarn. It's like mixed colors, so that's why it looks like that. This one, I'm doing white and then a blue. But I just figured I would end out the vlog because I forgot to, and I'm just going to start a new one today. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.